we're headed right now to St. Paul, Minnesota to, uh, I can't remember the name of the college, but there's a Puppeteer, Puppeteers of America Festival being out there, and this year it's called Puppet Rampage. Alright, it's a national puppeteer festival, uh, there's going to be puppeteers from all over the world, and there seems to be a lot of hype this year. Uh, people are really excited for the acts that are going to be there, it sounds like it's shaping up to be just a phenomenal meeting of the minds, I guess, just all the greats are coming to one place. We're going to be there filming everything, and, and interviewing people, and just... Uh, preserving it for historical purposes and also cutting together a documentary on Puppet Rampage. Ooh, I mean, not just taping some really famous and awesome acts, but like being able to watch some pretty, some pretty cool acts. Many shows that we have interviewed the performers for thus far, I'm pretty psyched about their acts, so I'm looking forward to that. So this is hour six of our two-day trek to Puppet Rampage in St. Paul, Minnesota. Because what you're looking at right now is pretty much what we've seen since we got out of the tri-state area. We just left the Chesapeake Bay watershed. Really? Let's take a look. Oh wow, that, uh, that's, that's not anything like the last shot I just got. Uh, we're on Route 80 today. Oh, what was it? Uh, almost 700 miles, if not more. It's been awesome. We've been listening to my favorite soundtracks, uh, Transformers the movie, the, the good one, the old one, and uh, Streets of Rage 2. We will be passing through five states today and three states tomorrow, bringing our total to eight states. Alright, so today we woke up in South Bend, Indiana, which was the end of the first leg of our trip, and now uh, today is a shorter day. We're headed uh, all, the rest of the, all the rest of the way to St. Paul. We're going to be about 1,200 miles from, from New York City. This is the biggest road trip I've ever been on. Iowa! It's got, uh, Woo! It's got a little choked up. I thought we were only going through eight states. This is the ninth state. This is an unexpected surprise. What's the capital of Iowa? Des Moines? Corn? Good answer. We are going to be uh, without much sleep this week because when I look at the schedule, we just have virtually no moment where we're not doing something, whether it's interviewing a puppeteer, uh, taping a show, from one from one event to the next. Look, wait, wait, wait. from the creators of 24, Operation Spy Girl. Wow, may not be real stuff though. This is the smallest Walmart I've ever seen in my entire life, uh, and it's in a cornfield. Okay, so uh, you may recall earlier my uh, expressing surprise at uh, landing in Iowa because when I looked at the map, uh, I never remember seeing Iowa on our trip map. And so we drove along, we drove along, we stopped at this great place for lunch. We're like, man, this is, this is awesome. I'm glad we, we, we included Iowa on our trip. Then Chad was looking at the atlas while we're driving and he's like, uh, Brad, I think I might have figured out why uh, why we why Iowa wasn't on our trip and uh, the reason was it wasn't supposed to be we made a wrong turn somewhere around Chicago and instead of going up through Wisconsin we've now gone through Iowa I don't know it's not gonna set us back too much but uh, we can now say we've been in Iowa and not Wisconsin and not Wisconsin <laughs> We're going to be preparing for tomorrow, which uh, is going to be a day where people are beginning to arrive. Um, we're going to be getting interviews with uh, the likes of Paul Zaloom. He's going to be performing at a, a theater called Heart of the Beast. And we want to talk to Drew and Bob, who are the coordinators of the festival. So uh, even though the festival doesn't really start until Tuesday, our day, uh, our, our work begins hardcore tomorrow.